Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a video in English since a very long time, but I'm here today to do a comic book haul December edition. So I went to a comic book shop and I picked up a couple of comic book what I was interested in at this week or it was cheap enough for me to buy and I just can't wait to share the experience with you because I just have some stories here what I really want to recommend to you. First of all, I picked up the recurrent which was a free DC comic book magazine where they telling us the most exciting storylines which keep us excited every single week and it's full with information, it's completely free so if you're in a comic book shop you definitely don't want to miss this because it is amazing, it's so informative, it's so exciting and it's giving you an extra thrill for the DC Rebirth universe. Obviously it wouldn't be me if I wouldn't pick up Image Plus, which is my favorite comic book magazine and I buy it regularly in my comic book shop because it is a great magazine, it's kinda oversized and it's just getting better and better every single time when I read it. There is a lot of interviews in it and you get previews for upcoming titles and I think the most exciting title in this issue was definitely what you can see in the cover and that's a Greg Ruka original story. It's called The Old Guard. So I just can't wait to read this. I also picked up a classic collection and it's called Invasion. Last week we saw it on TV on the DC crossover week and this is the comic book which based on and it is amazing and it was very very cheap like five pounds so it's really really well spent money. It's over 200 pages, there is the Justice League and all the aliens who we saw in the crossover week and I just can't be thankful enough for the Greg Berlanti Empire how amazing that week was. The next one is pretty much my biggest love of 2016 and it's coming from the Fletcher, Stuart, Tar trio and it's obviously called Motor Crash. Buffstar not just drawing anymore, she's also part of the writing process. I think it's just a positive step up for her because this issue is really really good. It's about Domino and motor racing and there is a lot of speed on these standing images and you get the feeling of the world around her which is a little bit sci-fi, a little bit of crime and a lot of other things. I really enjoyed the first issue of Motor Crash, I think it's grown up to the hype and it is definitely one of the best comic book which you can read it these days. And don't forget, this is from the Fletcher Stuart Tar Trio who brought us Bad Girl on Burnside. But there is one more comic book which just started last month and it thrilled the hell out of me every single time when I have a chance to read it because it's just so freaking good. Every single panel has a sense, every single panel is giving you an extra hint of what this series is and it's bringing back a genre where we haven't got a chance to experience it in this way since a very very long time and obviously there is a lot of romance going in it so it is so strong, so deep, I just cannot recommend anything more than I do with Violent Love. I fell for this series on the very first page because it was just so beautiful and when we met with this cute girl and the guy who used to be a marshal and telling her this crazy story of Daisy Jane you just can't get enough. The first issue was an original story to Daisy Jane and her background and it giving you the feeling of what this series can be and you fell for that idea and you fell for the feelings and you fell for the panels because it's just so well written, it's so well drawn. I don't even know if I ever read anything better than Violent Love. I mean it is really really good story and it's definitely the story of the year because you have everything what you can get in movies at these days and it has real characters with real dramas behind them and you understand that you feel the thrill with the crime and all these things it just makes you so freaking happy and I just find the second issue Violent Love almost as good as the first issue was but obviously in the first issue you get this origin story which was just perfect the way they told the story it was perfect every single level and you get the second story which is pretty much impossible to grow up to that level but it's still giving you a lot of extra things like when there is intimacy in it it's just so freaking elegant and it's just so 
perfect and when it, there is this crime part it's just so fun and you just really get thrilled from this story and I think it's very rare these days when a comic book is thrill you this way. So Wild and Love is definitely the best non-superhero comic book series of 2016 so go to the shop pick it up or buy it online. This was my comic book haul for this week. If you want to see more English video from me then definitely leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel and let me know what do you want to see. And definitely don't forget to mention me what was your favorite peak of the week and what is your favorite story of 2016. Let it discuss down in the comments below. Till next time, read more comic books.